Good day everybody, it's Corey again here with some PHP Runner tips and tricks. Today we are going to explore the button events. Button events is used to give your button some functionality. There's no point having a button on your page and if you click it, it doesn't do anything. You have to code what you want it to do. And this is what this tutorial is all about. I'm going to take you step by step through that. But just before we start, thank you very much Xline Soft for this amazing piece of software. As you can see, professional web applications with little or no coding. And I want to take you to the product page as well. As you can see, PHP Runner is the product that you will find and see on this channel. They also have an ASP Runner and a ASPRunner.net version. And many of the things that I explain in my tutorials applies actually onto all three of them. Okay, let me show you quickly what we have currently. What you see here is a list of products that's currently in stock because I'm in the in stock tab. And there's also the list of products that's currently out of stock. You will notice on this out of stock list page, I have in stock buttons. And on the in stock page, I have out of stock buttons. All this is going to do at this point in time is you I click one of them, record 23, it's going to move that record out of stock. It's now going to appear in the out of stock view. And if I click on any one of these record 13 in stock, it's going to move it to the in stock view. And I'm going to show you how this currently works. But before we go there, I want to draw your attention to a tutorial titled PHP Runner version 10 page designer custom buttons and grid. Please go and watch this tutorial. It shows you in detail how you add these buttons. In fact, this view over here was created with this tutorial. Please go and find the time. You don't have to stop now and go and watch that tutorial at this point in time. You can finish this first, but make sure that you've seen at least both of them. Okay, so now I'm gonna open up PHP Runner. I'm in the page designer and there is my out of stock button. If you select this button or put it in focus, you will see this edit button code. I click, you click on that. And this is where you can code the button. It's a little pop-up window. You can actually do your coding here. While I have this open, I'm gonna explain quickly. We have three main events. The first one is client before, then we have server event, and then we have client after event. All three of these events get executed when a button is clicked. What I mean by that is it will execute whatever you put here in client before, then it's going to execute everything that is in server event. And then lastly, it will finish off by executing everything that you put in client after event. Another important thing that I want to draw your attention to is in the client before event, if you uncomment this line, return false, it's going to execute everything before it, but because you said return false, it's going to prevent the execution of server and client after event. Not what we're going to do right now. So client before is JavaScript code. Any valid JavaScript coding will work in the client before event. Server, however, is PHP again. It execute on server side. And then after the execution of server, we have client after, which again is JavaScript code. Both your JavaScript, which is the client before and the client after, both of them is optional. However, PHP code executed on the server side is kind of like compulsory. You have to do something when a user clicked this button. Another thing that I need to draw your attention to now is the palms array. Palms array is used to pass information from this client before to your server side. With this dollar palms array, you can get information and you can set another array with a result which will then go through to your client after event. 
and I'm going to give you a very good example of how that will work. Okay, personally, I prefer to code somewhere else within the application, and that is in the events. So I'm going to close this now, and I'm going to jump straight to my events page, because here is my button as well. Here I have client before, client server, client after, like before. The only difference is here I have a little bit more space. Now, first of all, this button currently do not use the client before. On server event, there's a very important button object that we are making use of, and that's the get current record. Get current record is what makes this thing work. What it does, on each and every one of these buttons, depending on the row it is in, it will have this key value, 31. So rec ID is my unique identifier within the database and this get current record retrieves whatever this value is. Now this button object get current record will not work if you haven't set a key for your table. Let me quickly show you my query for this table. You, this is a simple query and rec ID is my key. So go straight to your pages view and make sure that rec ID or whatever you are going to use is set as the key. Get current record will not work if this is not set properly. Okay, now I'm gonna go back. So what is basically going to do is going to put the key in this dollar record variable of mine. I'm then going to set a string SQL update I'm going to say something update product set status out of stock it's where record ID does it look familiar equals record and then that's the extraction of the array record ID and I will execute that so what will happen is it's basically going to set the corresponding record to out of stock. Client after is going to execute and this is Java coding again and here I just do a simple window.location reload. It's going to refresh the page. And this is how this button is currently working. Okay, so now we're gonna do some interesting changes to this button. First of all, when you click the button, it must ask you if you are sure that you wanna move it. And that we're going to use, I Google some window confirm a method, and this is w3schools.com. I'm just going to use their example down here. We're basically going to use that piece of code. Exactly what I said before, any valid Java code will work. So we're going to use that. So we're going to set a variable, R in this case, confirm. Are you sure you want to move this product? And then the confirm function is going to return either true or false. We then say if R compares to true, here I'm going to set the palms, which is this palms over there, an array, I call it move, and say yes. Else I'm going to set the same palms move to no. So if he says yes, it's fine, move it. This associated array move will contain the value of yes, else it's going to contain the value of no. So we're now on the server event. So right now it can't just go in and update the record. It will first have to know whether yes or no was clicked. And we're gonna change the code to something like this. Now we're first gonna test if palms move compares to yes now that is the exact same coding but we want to forward the yes or the no that was set in client before to client after as well to get it here we're going to have to set the result so all i'm going to do set the result because now we will be able to use this value in the next event. 
client after. But because this is Java, we're going to have to set a variable. I'm also going to set a second variable. At this point, I just create the message variable and it's set to nothing. And now I'm going to execute the following coding. If moved the variable that I set there compares to yes, then message product moved. Else message is equal to record was not moved as you clicked cancelled. And then we're just going to alert that message. And then very important after you click OK on this message, I want the window to refresh. OK, so I just refresh the page. I'm going to click on record 21. And if I click on it, it says, are you sure you want to move this product? Let's click OK. It says product moved. And if I click OK, it refreshes the page. Let's do 25, but this time we say cancel. Record was not moved as you clicked cancelled. And that's quite amazing that you think. There's literally nothing that you can't do with the software. Everything is available. Excellent soft thought of everything. And they really did an amazing job to make it possible for you and for me to do stunning applications. This was just a small example of what you can use it for and how you would use it. Please go and get your copy of the software. It's really worth it. I do plan a lot more content that I want to go here and share with you guys. Ask me in the comments what it is that you want me to show you next. Don't you just want to like and subscribe right now? As I really need that to make this channel work for me and for you. Thank you very much. Until next time.